Welcome to the third episode of the Better Than Stock 2JZ Bottom End Build. In the prior episode, we watched Safe Neighbor from Neighbor Racing install the bearings and the crank. In this episode, Safe will walk us through the process of weighing and balancing and then marrying the piston and rod assemblies. My name is Safe Neighbor from Neighbor Racing, uh, engine builder, tuner over here. We uh, specialize in the 2JZ LS platforms. Um, Supra is our main bread and butter. So we're just. Um, we're kind of just uh, weighing everything right now, trying to get them as close as possible. They're very consistent. Like I said, Diamond Pistons so far is by far the most consistent pistons I've had to deal with. Um, I know others uh, can speak for them as well. So we're just trying to line up as close as possible from piston to piston. Now these are all internally balanced. Everything is good. Um, but you want to keep that track going. So. What we'll do is how it's going to be assembled. 648. That's also another Manley's have been very consistent as well. Everything from pin bores to big, big ends. Um, very good quality. And one or two grams between them is pretty good, huh? So, yes. They tell you plus or, uh, plus or minus two. Okay. Um, but they're fairly almost dead on. So you weigh each individual part. First, yep. And then you make sure at the end you're lining up the ones so that the assemblies are all perfectly weighted. Exactly. This is the nuts. Lightest rod by a gram, heaviest rings by a gram, so I just went straight to it. I'm curious just to see everything together. Thing. 
I would respect every person, everyone land. So the slightest little burr can hang a ring up. And see the that. Even though they're all brand new, they're nice and shiny right there. This one I get any kind of rips and I love. I always change it. Sure. Any little piece hangs and it lodges in between anything. It's always going to be issue. The same thing, everything. <laughs> the ocean piston. It's it's fine if you get some lube on and stuff. I just it makes it easier to clean. Sure. When I'm ready, when I'm ready to do a final. It's got like the thinnest film, it's like machine film. It's not, it's not ideal for a, a, a fresh start. You'll have pretty much metal on metal. Sure. Instantly, when those gears start to turn. And uh, where's your pump out? Most ported pumps <coughs> that we do here, so like your factory, like on a hot idle, or say like cold start. You typically run on a factory pump untouched, healthy new pump. We're seeing around 110 to 120 oil pressure. Now that all depends on the claims as well. I don't know how the motor is, but let's just say for a factory motor. Um, the pumps after porting them, micro polish, cold starts are like spike past 150. Hot idles on a factory untouched motor and pump. Um, people typically see around 30 to 40 psi healthy. Um, these sit around 65. So it's really good, but I mean, you can't just throw that in there on uh, factory clearances and expect it to last because. It's not all, the more oil pressure doesn't mean that's, that's better. You could wipe bearings out with too much oil pressure. Especially using the wrong kind of oil, or wrong thickness, viscosity. So, we've been doing a lot of testing, I guess. So far, um, good positive results, a lot of oil pressure.
almost there. Both these are in. Pop the new bearings in it. And uh catch a fingernail inside of one of those. Yep, plenty of times. <laughs> and I've screamed like hell. I came up with new curse words and everything. I've had them actually like pop out, just fling. I've had a couple of them just shoot right at my eye. Yeah, those are some bad days too. Tune in again for the fourth and final installment of the bottom end build when we watch Safe install the pistons into the block. If you enjoyed this video, please leave us a comment and a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel and share with your friends. <laughs>